So, what do you like in a person? Many of us would initially respond with things like, someone tall, or I like green eyes. Well, what about those times you look at people you've liked in the past and thought to yourself, mm, but they don't all look alike. Or you've encountered someone who seems to be your ideal in every single way on paper, but you meet them and wonder, who are you? The answer to that mystery is that attraction is based on three things. You consider them approachable, believe in positive factoids about them, and if they make you feel good. If the trifecta is incomplete, this could lead to not being attracted to the person, no matter how Hollywood-esque that smile is. Here are six psychological things that make you less attractive. Number one, being sleep deprived. No matter how much caffeine you swill, sleep deprivation takes a toll on everything. This could ruin the first impression meeting with someone. When you first meet someone, you have a limited amount of information to decide your next steps. Should you get closer or should you back away slowly? As humans, we rely on sight initially to give us that quick initial assessment. So if you show up looking like a haggard potato, your selfie or Instagram buddy potential isn't the only thing that's less than stellar. Other attraction factors like the appearance of health and trustworthiness also take a hit. Number two, body smell. That bio is one thing, and there are plenty of products and methods to avoid it. But ever think about a similar body odor? This goes deep and comes from your DNA. We have something called a major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. They're a group of genes that do coding to help out the immune system, and they influence body odor. So bathing yourself in cologne doesn't change anything. Studies have found that women were more attracted to men with dissimilar MHCs to their own. This is hypothesized to encourage gene variability, thus a stronger immune system. Number three, excessive focus on appearance. Hey, we're all into looking good and feeling good. You do you and love yourself for it. Just don't let it go overboard. Sure, initial encounters are strongly influenced by physical attractiveness, but that's fleeting. No matter how much of a hottie they appear to be, if all they care about is their self-image, that becomes a repulsing factor. It's true that in the end, we need substance. And if all we're getting is air, we're howdy. Number four, not being humble. When you get a win, do you crow that it was all you? that you're just legendary and single-handedly did it all? Or do you credit those who helped you? Like friends, teachers, family, and maybe even that one cashier who would stay five minutes late every shift just to make sure you could get some food at the end of the night. Humility, also known as a modest view of oneself, was found to help not only start, but maintain romantic relationships with humble partners being scored as more attractive than arrogant ones. So although we like to contribute for the good of the cause, we still wanna be acknowledged for our part, whether it be a project or a partnership. If that recognition is usurped, where it's only their name on the credit reel, we tend to feel cheated, betrayed, or used. Number five, overly smiley or too proud. Related to the previous point, this is all about how you hold yourself or appear in pictures. If you look pompous, puffed out, and arrogant, or over smiley, it gives the same vibe as not being humble. This type of nonverbal expression implies that perhaps that smile can't be trusted and that pride may override the well being of anyone other than themselves. And number six, contractive body language. Turtles are cute, but it's because they're turtles. You're a human. Don't try to turtle yourself. It was found in a study between several universities that people become more attractive when their posture and bodily display are more expansive, like open arms and a non-hunched back. It singles welcome. The opposite of that, contractual body language, like crossing your arms and legs and hunching over, decreases desirability. This is conveying a message of, don't come close, I'm closing myself off from you. So if you wanna welcome people in, go ahead and put your body into it. We used to think attraction equals physical beauty, but we know now that attraction is a complex thing involving the whole person, inside and out, flaws and all. Which of these things have you noticed in yourself or others? Have you tried changing anything and how did it work out? We'd love to see you get into some good conversation below. And if we could humbly ask for a like, that would be super appreciated. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.